آزادی بیان یعنی لون زیو فری سپیچ Okay, you speak about an oath. An oath is a solemn promise. Um, when we sign a secret agree- secrecy agreement, in my view, that's not an oath. It's a promise. Now, are promises important? Of course they are. Promises are not to be broken lightly. Uh, but uh, in my view, um, when you look at an ethical decision in moral circumstances, uh, there is some, some gradation of values here. Now, with respect to the secrecy promise, you promise as a condition of employment not to reveal secrets that endanger the national security. They are defined as confidential, secret, and top secret information. Uh, confidential, secret information are not extremely prejudicial to the U.S. security. Uh, top secret is defined as such. But the express Uh, intent of these classifications is to protect national security, not to protect fraud, abuse, dishonesty, or worse. So that's the first step. Try to think about well, what, are the, what is the real reason behind these secrecy promises? And uh, even so, one cannot uh, dismiss them lightly, and one has to remember that one did make that promise. What I would hear at NSA, we need to make Americans feel safe again. Now, I didn't take an oath to make Americans feel safe again. I did take an oath to keep Americans out of harm's way. That was defined as providing for the common defense, and also the, what's the responsibilities of the federal government and the, and, the, and the general welfare. Those are the two primary responsibilities of the, of the centralized federal government in our form of government. They are articulated in the preamble, and they enumerate all those in the different articles, right? So my oath was to the Constitution. I'm going to come back to that because that oath was to support and defend the Constitution. It was not to support and defend law-breaking. It was not to, to, to support and defend illegality. It was not to support and defend using secrecy as cover for illegal activities or conduct that was clearly in violation of standing statute. Well, I, I know only one system well, which is the U.S. system. I find it hard to imagine that there is any developed society that has a government that doesn't have prohibitions against crime, waste, fraud, abuse, and mechanisms for reporting it. In the U.S., you have a legal obligation to report it. Um, you, it's not, you, you report it to the proper authorities, um, uh, the judicial authorities. The, whatever it happens to be, um, that it's not in the nice to do, it's a required to do. You violated the law if you don't do it. Um, the, well, I think I'll go to the newspaper, because uh, I happen to have a journalist phone number as opposed to, rep- oh God, I don't know exactly how to report this thing. That's wrong. That's wrong. If you, you know, If there are instances where the government in some sense is non-responsive violating the law okay that's a different case and then you come at it but again the problem is much much bigger than the little incident or big incident whatever whatever the trigger is